what is depreciation? In accounting terms, depreciation is defined as the reduction of recorded cost of a fixed asset in a systematic manner until the value of the asset becomes zero or negligible. Most types of tangible property can be depreciated, such as buildings, vehicles, machinery, and furniture. When you buy an asset and you capitalize it, it goes on your balance sheet. Actually, deals might be dropped by companies because of the taxes on the money they make, or even the depreciation on some assets. That is why it is necessary to consider the life of the assets in a project. It could save thousands of dollars. Assets do not depreciate at the same rate. Usually, each asset has a depreciation rate during a time period. So, this asset is losing some of its value each time period. And the remaining value of this asset is called salvage value. Note that the salvage value is not necessarily equal to the market value. There are multiple methods of depreciation. Let's talk about straight line and declining balance. Straight line depreciation has the same rate of depreciation over all the years that the asset is used. Let's take an example. Consider that a company has a desktop PC purchased at $1,000 at a depreciation rate of $100 per year. In 5 years, your computer will be worth $500, and that is its salvage value. But if you want to sell it, it may be sold at $400 or even $600, and that is its market value. Note that depreciation is not a cash flow. You're not paying any money. But depreciation decreases taxes which is a real cash flow. Both straight line and declining balance methods of depreciation lead to the same salvage value. But the difference is that declining balance is an accelerated depreciation method. For example, if a company is trying to minimize the amount of tax it's paying, it is better to pay less tax earlier than later due to the time value of money. So declining balance method is better for tax reductions. More depreciation, less taxes. Now, considering declining balance method and using the same previous example, the salvage value of the computer was $500 at year 5. To calculate the depreciation at year T, we use the following formula. It is equal to the acquisition value of the PC times d times 1 minus t to the power t minus 1 where d is 1 minus the salvage value over the book value to the power 1 minus n which is in this case equal to approximately 0 0.13 and to calculate the book value of this pc at year t we use this formula it's equal to book value times 1 minus d to the power t which is at u5 in this case it's equal to $500 so we got the same result now let's talk about depletion what is depletion? it is the systematic allocation of costs associated with extracting natural resources from a reserve typical these natural resources Utilized by businesses include minerals, precious metals, wood, and oil. There are two types of depletion, cost depletion and percentage depletion. Now, let's take an example. Gravel pit purchased for $14,000 is expected to yield 50,000 tons of gravel. The gravel will sell for $6 per ton. And the percentage depletion rate for gravel is 5%. Suppose 10,000 tons of gravel were sold that year. To calculate the cost depletion, we first calculate the depletion factor, which is equal to the first cost over resource capacity, which is $0.28 per ton. Now, the cost depletion amount is equal to the depletion factor times 10,000 tons, 
which is $2,800. And then the percentage depletion amount is equal to the percentage depletion rate for gravel times the price of gravel per ton, which is $3,000. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one.